Good morning, ladies. How are you guys? It's Jenny's Batista. I am here this morning to give you guys a word that got put in my heart, and I'm gonna try to make it as short and sweet as possible. But we just need, I just want to keep it real this morning. Um, I put a, a post on my Facebook that was talking about um, unhappy people, um, you know, people that are negative, people that are always angry. Um, you know, we cannot allow people like that to kill our spirits and it's something that the Lord put in my heart this morning and then speaking to a, a system um, of mine um, out in Texas it was just a confirmation to what God really placed on my heart this morning and I just want to encourage you guys um, you know I, I, I'm a Christian woman and and I keep it real with God the the things that I post on my Facebook are 100% real they're 100% authentic I don't play to be Christian I am a Christian and I know that I may not meet everybody's um expectativa you know i may not meet everybody's standards but that's okay but the point is that as a christian woman we have to learn how to move forward and i'm speaking to you guys even those that are listening that may not be believers um when a person um, such as a Christian gives you a, a bad testimony it shouldn't be the end of who you are and who God called you to be you may want a lot of people to be there for you if they're Christian people you may want them to hold your hand throughout your whole life and you may want them to be there for you every moment and every step of the way and I would love that as a Christian woman I would love as a pastora for certain people to be in my life and hold my hand every step of the way but the truth of the matter is that we have to go through things in life and we have to learn through wisdom we have to learn through experience and we also have to learn through having knowledge and we're not gonna get those things without true life experiences so we have to go through some things in life and God sometimes will allow us to you know for people to dig holes and put us in 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 the hole so that we can learn how to be strong so that we can learn how to survive on our own we have to stop depending on the man we have to stop always expecting people to always want to do things for us and we got to stop depending on people to always resolve our problems and resolve our issues whatever you want in life you have to be a go-getter you have to go and get it you can't just sit down and just expect things to just fall on your lap because it's never gonna happen we have to whether you want to get a job whether you want to get your license whether you looking for a place to live you know whatever your circumstance and your situation may be you need to move forward to elevate you because you're gonna be the one that reaps the benefits of that job of that car if you don't have a car and you are struggling without a car the only person that's gonna be struggling without a car is gonna be you if you need money to pay bills if you need money to buy clothes if you need money to you know get a place to live or whatever the case may be you're going to be the one living in that house. You're going to be the one wearing those clothes. You're going to be the one that needs to move ahead in life. So I don't mean to be harsh this morning or hurt anybody's feelings this morning in any way shape or form but I'm just trying to keep it real if somebody tells you that you're nothing and you're never gonna be nothing and you're never gonna amount to nothing we have to learn to push those voices aside Satan has done a great job yes I said it he has done a great job in making people feel that they are nothing because of other people and I'm so sick and tired of of people allowing themselves to be overtaken by other people's opinions let me tell you something the people that raised me told me that I was adopted and they picked me up in a garbage can that did not stop me from moving forward and moving forward and trying to get my nursing degree that didn't stop me from moving forward or going to you know going to school and trying to better my education that didn't stop God from blessing me it didn't stop a lot of people may not like you but guess what they don't have to like you all we need to worry about is that when people are in our circle we just have to make sure that people respect us because a lot of people we can't allow people even if you're a Christian or non-Christian people don't have no right to disrespect you everybody can have their opinion on who they think that you are but that doesn't validate you you know how many people think that I may be nothing but guess what boo boo it does not validate me and it's the same thing for you no matter what somebody thinks about you it doesn't validate you other people's opinions 
don't validate you, if other people don't help you move forward, if other people don't help you to succeed, make sure that you're getting mad at them because of the right reasons. Make sure that you truly are trying to succeed because if you really don't want to succeed and you just want to waste people's time, there are people in life that are not beat for that. They're not, you know, they don't want people in their lives. Like I know me as a pastora, there are so many people that want our help, but guess what? There are some people that we want to help and we want to push them to the next level. But guess what? Some people, they don't want to help themselves. And we have to learn as men, Christian men and women of God to know when to draw the line and know that we're not here to meet everybody's needs. You know, we here to do what God called us to do. And as much as we would love to help everybody out, it's not always possible. But if we help out the people that God has called us to and they're willing to put their 50% and we put in 50% and they put in their 50% for them to get to the next level then you know we'll be able to see people walking in their purpose doing the things that God called them to do and and I and I'm you know and I don't mean to be coming across strong this morning and things like that but I just I want to keep it real with you guys this morning stop letting people um, dictate who you are and where you're going. You need to be strong. You need to dust the, the dust um, your shoulders off. Um, remove those negative thoughts of all the things that people say to you. You may not realize it, but there are certain people that they are marked from the time that they was a baby with all the negative things that everybody had to say about them, all the negative opinions. And, you know, don't let nobody look down on you. I don't care if it's because of the color of your hair, the color of your skin. There are just certain people that they just haters and they always gonna be haters and we have to learn to rise amongst the haters because if we don't we never gonna see success we never gonna see victory God wants to position you he wants to position us in a place where we can rise amongst our haters so that we can give God the glory so that you know they they looked at you like you wasn't gonna be nothing like you was never gonna be nothing they wanted you to believe what they said about you but guess what that's not what God says about you if God says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and he knew you when you were in your mother's womb don't get upset with God don't push away God because of other Christians and the things they say to you and the things they do to you or the example and as a matter of fact, I was talking about that with one of the sisters, um, you know, that this week, if you leave a church because of whatever X, Y, and Z, whatever your reason may be, you left the church, right? If you left because of the pastors, then you really didn't, you know, that you was expecting something from them that you didn't get. But did that stop you from seeking God? Does that stop, stop you from moving forward and advancing in the kingdom of God? You see, those are the things that we need that, that I'm, I want to talk about this morning because we cannot let other people, because sometimes we expect, expect, expect so much. There's so many people that, yeah, they're going to be there for you for a season, but don't expect them to hold your hand every day and you're sitting there crying about it. Don't go to church no more because of what this person did, because of what that person did, and they Christians, and how could they do that? Guess what? Yeah, yeah, they Christian. Yeah, they may know God, but guess what? Satan also has power, and he has power within his church. There's, a, there's more um, demonic pastors than there are real pastors out there. Guess what? People always going to hurt you. People always going to, you know, not give you their 100% best, but you got to keep moving forward, and you got to, when, when real people do come in your midst, when they do come in your circle, you got to know how to treat them and how to appreciate them, because a lot of people, one thing that I notice is that they like to complain so much about everybody else in their life oh this person that person this person but what type of person are you when you're around them are you the type of person that's always criticizing people putting people down always looking at their hair always looking at their shoes always looking at you know the color of their skin always looking at how they talk and the way they talk what kind of person are you you know, we need to ask ourselves these questions when we're trying to, when we're talking about other people or we're trying to move forward, you know, from one level to the next. Amen. So I pray that this message was a blessing to your heart. And I pray that if this is you and, and this, per, you know, this message blesses your heart, I pray that you, you know, and I declare in the name of Jesus that you, you are able to move forward regardless of what everybody else has said, has said to you, regardless of what everybody else um, said over your life, that you're never going to be nothing, that you're never going to accomplish 
accomplish nothing that nobody's ever gonna like you that everybody's gonna see you for this fake and phony person that you really are i rebuke right now in the name of jesus all those negative thoughts that have been overtaking your mind overtaking your heart and not allowing you to see who god really is not allowing you to see the purpose that god really has for your life is god is calling all of us to step it up he's calling all of us to move forward he's calling all of us to keep it real and we gotta stop playing church and we gotta start being the church and i'm janice batista and this is janice batista ministries and i pray that this message again like i said is a blessing to your life